You've probably heard someone call atheism a religion a time or two, but what would it look like if atheists actually acted religiously? Hey, uh, I'm about to pray. Do you know which way the Large Hadron Collider is? Oh yeah, East Wall, dude. Alright, thanks. So what we need is more atheism in our schools. It's not until everyone accepts atheism into their hearts that we'll stop having so many tragedies. Yeah, man, that's right. <sighs> Dude, my friend just told me he believes in God. Seriously? Yeah, man, like, what am I supposed to tell him? Well, we'll give him a copy of the God Delusion, and then I guess we'll just invite him to an atheist meetup. I mean, do you think that's gonna work? Well, Dennett does say that he's not willing that any should perish, but all should come to know that God doesn't exist, so it's worth a shot. So this creationist has the audacity to even question my beliefs, right? So I tell him, take it or leave it. I'm always going to believe this, no matter what you say. You know as well as I do, Tucker, that the Christians trying to take over this country know deep down that there is no God, even though some of them will say, oh no, I really do believe. But you know how dishonest and closed-minded they all are. Hey, hey, Drew. Hey, I wanted you to meet my friend Tim. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, what atheist group do you go to? Uh, you know, um, I don't, I don't really go to those. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's an interesting lifestyle choice, I guess. You know, you never told me your deconversion story. Okay, well, I just started reading a lot of Sam Harris, and I, I can't explain it, really, but I just felt like it was all true, mm. and that there really was no God, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess I've just been a different person ever since. Oh. Oh, God. I didn't study for anything on this test. <sighs> Dear Bertrand Russell, please give me the knowledge that I need to pass this so I don't fail this class again. Ramen. Drew, somebody drew this picture of Carl Sagan. Oh my God, that's, that's so offensive. I know, this should be illegal. All right, everyone, welcome to Dawkins Study. Today, we're gonna talk about the third chapter of the God Delusion and how we can apply that to our hearts. Hey, these are really good, dude. You want one? Did you make sure that they're haram first? Uh, no. Dude, you know that Hitchens, peace be upon him, said that we can only eat food that's haram. Oh, no, dude. Well, dude, what the? Oh, no! Hey, I'm gonna go to dinner. I'll see you later. Dude, wait a minute. What? Is that seriously what you're gonna go out in? This? I mean, yeah. Okay, not to be judgmental, but do you really think that the four horsemen would approve? I mean, that's way too modest, man. So, I've been meaning to ask you... How are you doing, like, atheistically lately? Well, to be honest, I've been kind of struggling with not having doubts. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I just kind of wonder, you know, maybe there is a God. Well, what you have to remember is, it's okay to not have your doubts sometimes. I mean, even Hitchin struggled. But as long as you come back to atheism, it's okay. Hmm. Thanks, man. Hopefully, it doesn't come as a surprise to you that atheists don't actually act anything like this. Unfortunately, some religious people don't know any atheists very well, so I guess they just assume that atheism is just their religion in reverse. But it's not. Atheists just don't believe in God, and really that's it. There are no creeds or practices or anything like that. There is an atheist community these days, but it isn't based on any doctrine, just a kind of coincidental similarity of ideas. Something that's complicating this whole issue lately is that even some atheists and other non-religious people now claim that the atheist community is religious. Sometimes they mean that in the same sense as ill-informed religious people do when they say it, but much of the time they're using a non-colloquial definition of the word religious. Religious is what you act out. The system of implicit axioms that you hold as primary is your religious belief system. It doesn't matter whether you're an atheist or not. Perhaps the biggest problem with that is that most people hear that, don't understand the definition being used, and then get the idea that atheists actually act religiously in the everyday sense of the word. Even further, they then see anti-theists opposing religion and think that anti-theists are opposed to having any kind of social or belief structure at all, when that's just not the case. So to those who say atheists are religious in some non-colloquial sense of the word, please understand that this video illustrates the mental picture a lot of people get when they hear you say that. As I hope you understand, that's a huge miscommunication. Know your audience and know the definitions they default to when you're discussing complex issues like this. Define your terms whenever you can or else your communication will just become counterproductive. And lastly, to those who think that atheists really do act a bit like we did in this video, actually get to know some atheists well. You'll find that their ideas and actions are diverse, but not anything like they're portrayed here. 
most importantly, you'll see that they're just as intelligent and as moral as you are, just without religion. Thanks for watching. I've been Drew of Genetically Modified Skeptic. A special thanks to my friend Dan and to the Secular Student Alliance in Waco for helping me so much with this video. Also, praise be unto Adam, my top patron and personal lord and savior. Without all of these people's help, this video would not have been possible at all. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon, follow me on Twitter at GM Skeptic, and until next time, stay skeptical.